Hi all, this is the tour of the homeschool room. Um, this is our former guest bedroom and it's right at the end of the hall as you can see here. All the little chalk flowers. And I'll go ahead and open her up. So for those of you who may have known what the guest room or former guest room used to look like, uh, this is the difference here. So. As you walk in, we've got a nice little settee here that we found at a garage sale. It's a very, very shallow little couch, but it's great for doing things such as spinning. I've got my spinning wheel over there. Um, got a little tea table, and we'll kind of pan around here. We've got a little individual desk. This one is for Anastasia. Kind of let her sit there and and uh, color and keep yourself busy while Bug and I are doing schoolwork at the big desk. Some of the bookshelves. And then kind of pan over to the doorway. And here is Anna Sophia's big desk. This is a trestle desk. It's about 42 inches high. We've got two saddle stools with it. So above that is their little marker board or magnet board. <laughs> okay. And at the end of the hallway there, um, you can see our candle stand. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the door and just kind of finish on the tour here. So this is where a lot of our books are stored right now. Plus uh, most of those baskets, the white ones and such, are empty. This one is actually a trash can. And this lines this entire wall, um, which is actually a giant window from wall to wall. And it opens up onto our front yard. So it's actually a very pretty view, but I don't want to glare the camera. So anyway, kind of coming over here to explain a little bit. Um, since we don't have a TV, um, one of the ways that we are trying to get the girls to keep busy is by doing things such as puzzles or games. And um, right here, kind of on display right now because these are too complicated for the girls, we've got these mind benders. And um, these, are, these are quite fun, a lot of fun to work with actually. They look nice out on display and as the girls get older they can start learning how to work with them. Um, as it is now, we have a lot of neighbor kids that like to come over and play with them. So we've got those mind benders out, and then lots of other books. Well, I'll explain those in a moment. So anyway, here is the trestle desk. It's got some storage space right here. And then we've got two saddle stools that, I know you can't see it real well. They fold up, or they don't fold, but they go completely underneath the table, which is really nice. And we just pull those stools out as we need them. And uh, for me, if I need to use my laptop, we've got a folding desk here. Uh, it's like a tray table, but bigger. And then I just bring that over to the settee and I can bring my computer over and sit down at a station. So here is the closet. This is the what I think is the main feature of the classroom. Um, this has a lot of storage. <clears throat> now the bottom of this closet is very open. So what we've done is put a folding card table here. We've got two foldable chairs that go with this card table and um, makes it easy for the smaller kids to sit down and play games like Candyland. Um, and if it's just one person sitting down, you can take just one chair, put it up to the table, and we don't have to take the table out of the closet. They just sit right there. Uh, for right now, we've got a folding step stool underneath the table. I don't have a better place to put that at the moment, but it allows me to reach what's up here. And um, this is some storage that I put up here because this is stuff I want to keep away from the girls, um, such as uh, all the refillable lead, all the erasers, all the permanent markers, uh, and my nicer pins and the stapler and the tape, etc. So all that is up there and out of reach. And I've got a curtain that goes from this end all the way to that end of the closet. And 
I can shut that curtain over here and you won't even see what's up there. So kind of out of sight, out of mind, because the girls really like trying to go for the tape. But it's up high so they can't really reach it. So opening those doors here, and this is probably my favorite, um, my favorite thing that we've gotten done just because of how well organized everything is. Up there at the top, that is where the sheets and pillowcases and pillows for the old bed uh, for the guest room are stored. So I've just got a curtain up there. And then from the top down, we've got a bunch of games, um, some fun games for the kids and then some strategy games. And um, a lot of neighbor kids will come over and play checkers and Othello with the girls, teach them how to play it. And this is a lot of our curriculum and uh, our curriculum stuff, a lot of it. And then this is kind of the kids' area. This is the one where they can come in and play around. Down here in these two big black drawers are other games. We've got a nicer checker set, a bingo set, um, and a really neat puzzle uh, to work on. Then this is a bunch of the books that the girls like to read through. So they can just pull that drawer out and grab the book they want. And then up here, this is a lot of their coloring supplies, colored pencils, some erasers, um, whatever they'd like right there. Got a bunch of crayons, got a bunch of twistable crayons, and right over here in this drawer is paper. And this holds about 1,000 sheets of paper, so a couple of reams, and then whatever the girls don't color, they put you know, they'll play with and then they'll put back in here to come back for another day, trying to conserve some of the paper there. So that is the closet set up. Um, over here, what we've got are curriculum books from here all the way to here. This little space down here is just books for reading that they can thumb through and, and work on their reading. Um, right now these drawers are empty. Um, which will allow us to acquire more things as we progress. The same goes for a lot of these other bins, like these two bins are empty, don't really have a purpose right now, and these two big magazine boxes um, also empty, which just leaves us room to grow and yet have something, have a, an ability to store it as we do grow. So. The fan is, is here usually during the spring and summer because this window is so big, it's the one that we use to air out the house. So usually the blinds are drawn and the fan is in the window bringing air into the house and circulating throughout the house. So this box is actually a trash can. I think I said that. Some more books that we read aloud to the girls. This is a, a section of read aloud to the girls. These are just books that they're not going to be able to read through yet. We'll read bits and pieces. And then um, these are books on homeschooling and parenting and stuff in general. Um, and then some of my spinning supplies, my Nitty Naughty and my hand spindle. So anyway, um, that is a tour of the room. What I like so much about the closet is that I can close everything and put it away. And then you don't see it, and it definitely does not have a cluttered feel, because there is an awful lot of stuff in this room. But yet we still have a giant open floor space. So that's really nice. And with all the seating that we've gotten here, we've got so many neighbor kids that we can have six people, seven people in here easy. A bunch of people sitting and standing here playing a game. Person sitting there. Someone sitting up at the lap desk here, and then a couple of kids pulling out that card table into this space and being able to play. So it works really well. So here is the magnet board. Um, some of you would recognize this. This was an epiphany gift from a couple years ago, and um, kind of how we taught the girls their ABCs. So right now it's just kind of hanging up there. And. Just above the couch, we've got Our Lady in St. Francis, who's our patron, parish patron. My tea table. Um, right now, that's kind of for decoration. The girls love tea, so it's not just me. Um, they've got their own teacups and everything, but that table doesn't fit everything, so 
anyway, kind of there to look pretty for now. So anyway, that is the tour of our room. So let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask.